students welcome so today we are going to start our chapter motion and time second lecture we have studied in the first lecture what is motion and in this lecture we are going to study measurement of time which is from class 7 science so pay attention to the class and after the class you have to do the homework of your textbook and if you do not able to solve the questions ask me in the comment box okay now let's start long long ago people didn't have clocks or watches for measuring time so how did they knew the time tell me first how do you know the time you watch your clock or your hand watch or your mobile phone but think about that when our ancestors did not have any kind of clock or watch or mobile phone to watch the time so how did they know the time students our ancestors used some natural techniques which repeated regularly after definite intervals to measure time they used the natural techniques for example the time between one sunrise to next sunrise was called a day the time between one sunrise to next sunrise was called a day or one sunset to second sunset is called a day next example the time between one new moon to the next new moon was called a month new moon appears on 15th day of the month in next month it will be appear on 15th day so this becomes 30 days okay the time taken by the earth to complete one revolution of the sun was called a year our earth takes one year approximately one year to complete one revolution of the sun right guys now the topic comes to the simple pendulum this is an important topic you will study about it in higher classes but in this you are given an introduction okay what is a simple pendulum a simple pendulum consists of a small metallic ball suspended by a light string from a rigid support see this is our pendulum this is our string this is a string a light string and this is a metallic ball that's called the bob okay and this is where we have supported our pendulum there are not so many ball bobs there is only one bob this is shown for your understanding to understand that it is in motion okay now when the pendulum is not moving listen when the pendulum is not moving it is in the rest position this rest position is called the mean position now when we try to push or pull our bob the bob moves from 0 to a and from a to 0 after that it moves from 0 to b and from that it moves from b to 0 this moment happens until when we keep pushing it okay it moves from 0 to a a to 0 0 to b and b to 0 it starts on 0 and it stops on 0 this moment that start on 0 and stops on 0 is called an oscillation what's called oscillation what's this definition the time taken for one two and four moment what is two and four moment this moment zero a zero b zero zero from zero to zero is called two and four moment the time taken by the pendulum for one oscillation is called its time period see suppose it takes 
one second for one to and fro moment for one oscillation this time is called its time period for example a pendulum of 25 cm takes one second for one oscillation okay now some conversions that's given in your textbook one minute is equal 60 second all of you know guys one day is equal to 24 hours one hour equals 60 minutes and one month equals 30 31 days and one year equals 12 month or 365.25 days okay guys thank you you have studied i hope you all understood the topic Okay.